Outside this Montreal Jewish Community Centre, anxiety. I feel people are looking at me different now because I'm Jewish, so it's like, it's, it's uncomfortable. The anti-Semitism and the comments and the racial comments, it's very, very disturbing. These longtime friends still shaken after another Jewish community centre and a synagogue were hit by Molotov cocktails this week. We noticed that there was the residue of a Molotov cocktail which had been thrown against the front doors of the synagogue. Montreal police are investigating with help from the Hate Crimes Unit. Police in several cities report a rise in alleged hate incidents and hate crimes against both Jewish and Muslim communities since the Israel-Hamas war began. In the last month, nearly 100 in Montreal alone. Three quarters were against the Jewish community. That's compared to a total of 72 hate crimes or incidents for all of last year in the city. I've never seen a time when Jewish Canadians have felt as scared, as angry, as frustrated. Today, the Prime Minister denounced what he called a terrifying increase in anti-Semitism and an unacceptable rise of Islamophobia. This needs to stop. This is not who we are as Canadians. Canadian Muslim groups say Islamophobia and anti-Palestinian racism and hate have spiked. It's really the worst I've ever seen it. It's the worst that most of our caseworkers have seen it, whether it's at schools or on the streets, around the mosques, at the workplace. This Toronto rabbi says some in his community now feel afraid to wear Jewish symbols in public. When Jews around the world are being held responsible for the actions of the Israeli government, it's a problem. It's more than just issues of politics, it's racism, it's xenophobia and it's anti-Semitism. He appreciates the added police presence around some synagogues and mosques because he wants everyone in Canada to feel safe where they worship. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.